Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are again restarting the streak. It's basically just a, a daily occurrence at this point, it really is. We're going Tainted Andromeda to Mother, which is a pretty scary one. Uh, I'll admit, it's a pretty scary one, but we're going to give it a go. We'll check out unlocks and make sure we haven't already done that, but I'm pretty sure we haven't. Andromeda unlocks. Oh no, it's Andromeda Marks, isn't it? Andromeda Marks. Okay, we definitely haven't done Mother, so that's good to know. Okay, yeah, we don't want to go to the item room here. We're going to jump ahead. I'm going to go into the question of the day right off the bat here. This will probably be an episode where we have a good few deaths, but hey her, We'll see how it goes. Yeah, for the question of the day, what is something that you used to do as a child that was really weird? What is something that, like, maybe it might have been something you didn't even know that as a child it was really weird, but then your parents might have told you about it later in life, and you're like, oh, damn, I was a weird kid. Mine? Mine. I used to collect, and much to the uh, annoyance of basically everyone that I went out in public with, I used to try and collect. Do you know the little tags that are on clothing items in stores that trigger the alarm if you walk out with them are still attached to the clothing item? Yeah, I used to, for some reason, try and collect those, which obviously, as you can imagine, was incredibly problematic for my parents and anyone else that I might have been out with at the time, because the only way I could obtain them was to either take them off an item of clothing or find them loose. And for some reason, they were actually possible to find them loose. But anyways, yeah, that kind of meant that I would, like, constantly be triggering shops' alarms all the time as a kid and obviously my parents most likely instantly knew what it was especially after the first few times but i used to do it like all the time and i don't think they're really much of a thing anymore um i've never i've not seen one in a very long time but at least in the uk there used to be like this thing where um clothing items would have like a little it was like a little plastic tab at the top of the coat hanger that would say, like, the size of the clothing item on it. I, I actually kind of wish that they were a bit more common, to be honest, because they were really useful. Um, but, yeah, I used to I used to always take those off of clothing items and take them, too, and just have, like, this massive collection of them. I don't know why. There was no real reason. I used to collect a lot of stuff, to be honest. Like, ooh, do we go boss item? I'm going to go boss item early. Unfortunately, we got one that is relatively useless. Oh, although... I will say, not that the other black rune is very good. In fact, we might be able to get some usage out of this from somewhere. Um, can we black rune the chest, maybe? We can, okay. Uh, just because that's going to give us some charges, as you just saw. Um, but the other black runes may be kind of useful. Um, I, I did that specifically to get stats, and stats we're going to get. If we get a bad item, um, we can we can just void it the hell out of it, black rune the hell out of it, and uh, get an item. So just make sure it's not automatically selected here. Um, but yeah, I I, I also used to select uh, select. Yeah, we definitely want to uh, get rid of that. And we got fire rate and range. Fire rate is of course the the far more important stat there. I'm pretty happy to get fire rate out of that. Uh, Would have been better to get fire rate and damage, of course, but. Yeah, but I also used to just, like, collect anything shiny. My parents used to basically refer to me as a magpie. Because basically any time I saw anything that was, like, remotely shiny, like a piece of metal. Even if it was just, like, pretty much trash on the floor as a kid, I was like, yeah, that's mine now. And even still to this day, I am 24 years old and I still have um, a bolt, like a, a screw bolt, screw nut, whatever you want to call it, on my desk. Um, like, my desk in my bedroom that is fucking massive that I found when I was like six years old and for some reason have always kept. I have literally no idea where it came from, what it's for, or why I still have it, but I do. I still have it, and yeah, I'm not entirely sure why. <coughs> Hopefully we'll get a thingy here soon. Ooh, I think this chest is well worth it. Might even get a secret room here. Sadly not. We've got two extra bombs there. Good, good. Probably want to use uh, our powers in a secret room or a devil room somewhere here there soon. I'm gonna try and go to all the rooms we can here just to um, get as much items as possible. But one of these guys is almost definitely gonna hit me. If I don't get hit by one of them, I'll be very surprised. I am very surprised. Uh, I'm just gonna pop the sun card to find the secret room. It's also gonna give me a charge. I can go get my secret room item right off the bat here, and we get a reroll machine as well, which is potentially quite valuable. Damn. Okay, um, let's try and look for some more money first before we uh, bother bombing it, but we might have to rely on just bombing it, unfortunately. Um, I, we'll try and find second secret room as well here. But yeah, we'll go to all the rooms available. 
it's not a terrible secret room item, I will, I will admit. Like, I think the Cracked Orb has a place. We are definitely getting hit here. Yeah. It's fine. It's, it's these fast boys. They scare the hell out of me. They scare the hell out of me. But yeah, it's, I'd be interested to see if any anyone else had any, like, really strange habits like that. I'm going to say, it must have annoyed the hell out of my parents, but <laughs> it was just something that I did. Yeah, this guy can go down pretty quickly. There you go. Ooh, a haunted chest could be interesting here. Haunted chest was indeed interesting. Not only a bunch of charges, but also some money to potentially get another reroll going. I say another, the first reroll going, should I say. More bombs as well. We're getting a lot of bombs here. A lot of bombs. It's good that it's just that we're getting drops, to be honest. Right. Let's quickly take a little look here. Come on, get us a reroll. Really? Five coins in? There you go. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Exactly what we were looking for. Thank you very much. Um, this should save us quite a lot. I will bomb through here. I'll also bomb here for second secret room too. That wasn't second secret room, so unfortunate for me, I guess. Right, let's do this. I'm not going to bother using... Um, Mega Mush yet. Just because... Oh, God. Just because I think um, we're better off taking our time with this Devil Deal. And I don't want to waste a bunch of Mega Mush just messing around with uh, a Devil Deal, really. Can I kind of hit this guy? Thank you. I realize we wasted some amount of charge there, but that's okay. We'll pop that. <sighs> that's not great. But Singularity 1 and Singularity 2. Both of these are really, really good. Um, concussion. Oh, wait. No, Concussion doesn't work for us because we've already got our pocket active. That's unfortunate, but nonetheless, not too bad. Um, we don't have a way to reroll that now. I wonder why that's like now locked. That's weird. Um, okay, so I think we just head on down, but this is pretty good. We we're going to try and do Mother, so I think this is a really good setup to do that. So let's go and do that, shall we? Um, before I forget, but yeah, let's um, let's do this. Golden Heart there, that's a bit unfortunate. We don't need to do the mirror puzzle because I just skipped the mirror puzzle nowadays. We might not, might not quite make it to the actual boss fight like this, but we'll see. We shall see. Get as many of those. Oh, we got another. Do you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss out on the boss. I think, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna miss out on the boss. But I was already gonna miss out on it anyways, so. Okay, we got, we got quite a few rooms there, to be honest. We got quite a few rooms. Um, shop. Ooh, shop is actually kind of valuable here. Get ourselves another familiar. And we got little Gish. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Little Gish is an ad additional bit of firepower for us. And some direct methods of shooting. Which is really nice. We got an extra singularity here. I'll hold on to that singularity for now, because I might want a double boss room. Or I might even double shop. If I don't get a devil deal, I think I might do double shop. Just to try and get battery-based items that would really help out. Or to try and get some ones that are going to give us more consumables. Both of those are reasonably common. That was a really bad hit by me there. Nice. Or we could get double angel deal, which I wasn't expecting. Um, unfortunately, one of these isn't as good as the other. Um, I think, in fact... Okay, we don't have thingy installed at the minute, do we? Um, I'm pretty sure the other one's only like an 8% chance on hit to get... Um, I do not like this room. An 8% chance on hit to get an Eternal Heart. So that's not that good either, really. Two of spades. Gives us two more keys, I guess. Do that for some money. Thank you. Okay. Health-wise, things are a little dodgy. Oh, we need to make sure I have to go fast here. But otherwise, in fact... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, good. There you go. That was that. Very, very useful. Oh, there's even a secret room we can head into here as well. Let's go for that. Okay, wasn't expecting you. I don't know what the Eternal version of this guy does. Clearly, it's shoot.
pills. Do you know what? We should be popping pills, really, because they give us charges. Balls of Steel is also in the rotation, so that's very good to know. Um, quickly do a reset on these. Okay, that's not second secret room. This could be... There you go. Just want as many consumables as we can get. Sadly, that one crashes our game, so we can't be taking that. There's a key here that we haven't picked up. Is that for any particular reason? Oh, okay, that's one that hurts us. Uh, I'm going to take it because it'll give us an item. What? <laughs> um, That's a little broken. That's really good. Okay, um, reflected items are a little wee bit broken. Also, our character is looking awesome. Yeah, Tech Zero is a really good pickup for us here. I didn't even think about how good it was. Um, we need to do give knife piece one. Good. Uh, I realize that the mirror, the mirror one isn't so bad, but yeah, I'm just not really too bothered by it. I'd rather just skip it at this point. And yeah, we did get double angel deal. It's, it's a little annoying that we got the divine intervention thing that isn't really that good. I mean, both the items we got particularly weren't great, but we'll, we'll just accept them. Yeah, Tech Zero, a very fun addition to this guy's roster. Go for that. Our speed is pretty bad right now, so I'm not going to take that. If our speed was better, it'd be a little more reliable to take that. But at the minute, our speed is pretty horrible. So if we either get more speed or get a reroll, then we'll do something with that this floor. But otherwise, probably going to be left by the wayside a little bit. Y'all need to stop. We need piercing next. Piercing is the next big thing that would, would improve our setup quite a lot. Darkman, have you paid out yet? I don't know if you have. I think you're one half heart off of paying out. We do have um, Thunder Thighs available. Not Thunder Thighs. God damn, I just looked at it and said Thunder Thighs. Um, Mega Mush available, so I guess we will go for that. Need to make sure to pick up consumables, even if it wastes a bit of time. This is another thing as well. Lower speed with this guy is, is like a complete and utter waste of time for us. We we really don't want lower speed because it, it, it completely neuters the effectiveness of this item. See if we can get the boss. Not gonna quite get it, are we? We got we did a lot of damage though. We did a lot of damage. We apparently got um skinny odd mushroom here, so our fire rate's pretty popping. Is this guy eternal? Yeah he is. I'm trying to figure out I don't know what does he do when he's eternal? He doesn't seem to be doing anything much different. God damn it. I knew that was going to hit me, but I was like, nah, nah, nah. They're so far away from me. I'll be fine. Also, our damage is pathetic right now. Like, we're not doing anything to him. Dude, stop throwing these bombs. Try and kill him because he'll give us consumables. We're not going to get the kill, are we? Nah, we didn't. Okay, I'm going to pop this in here. That's not great, but it does allow this guy to steely, steely some things and give us one black heart. Yeah, one black heart. What, whatever. It's one, but it'll do. Buy that up. Do you know what? I might as well grab this. Just because it's going to give us a singularity pickup and... Um, Having Mega Mush active for the next floor is going to be useful anyway, so I'll just take that. Okay. Definitely go for this. Spawns two batteries. That's actually really, really good to just have. This is some bad enemies for us to fight. We've actually still got really low damage because Tech Zero does scale off of our own damage. So while our damage is currently still quite low, Tech Zero isn't doing too much for us. It's still good. And obviously not having piercing makes it not as good as well. It's still really good to have, but it could be a lot better. Okay, let's get out of here. Scram skadoodle. Um, 
quickly check for secret room location. Could be here. There you go. Just, just, I gotta say, there's just usually so many consumables to play with. And we get uh, prevent damage from creep and floor spikes. Also, we get the speed up, which we need. I'm actually still not going to take thunder thighs, though. I'm pretty happy with where we sit right now. This is good. Right. Down we go. This is a good run so far. This is a good run. I, th I think I might actually keep my Magus card for um, my boss fights. I have two full charges. It spawns two batteries, which essentially means, yeah, we get two full charges of... Um, of Mega Mush for the uh, mother fight, which is obviously something you can't normally get a hold of. Puberty. So just try not, an, just try not to accidentally use it. It's the big thing here. I didn't even mean to do that. I don't even know why I placed the bomb. Uh, maybe that was just uh, instinctual. Instinctual. But yeah, it, it's kind of it's kind of weird that like as a kid I had this habit to like collect random bits and bobs and things. But like, I've never been a collector as an adult. Like I was always like a big collector of just random crap as a kid. So you kind of think that I'd be one of those people that's like big into collecting films or games or I don't know stamps or coins or whatever. And yeah, I'm I'm surprisingly not really. And while I, I, I do actually, um, like, I've never collected coins or stamps or anything in my life, I, I do actually kind of like collecting content. Um, not as in, like, collecting content myself, as in, like, I like watching people on YouTube that make collecting content. Like, there's a guy called Christopher, I believe, on uh, YouTube that does coin collecting. And I, I couldn't really give a damn about coin collecting. Holy hell. Um, first of all, let's pop this. Dead Sea Scrolls. Wow. Uh, upon entering a room, random familiar has a chance to be... Mm, okay. Uh, hair... Hairpin? Is hairpin as good as I think it is? I've got to, I've got to try this out. Because it'll either charge singularity or mega mush. Either way, it's fantastic, right? Right, so let's pop through here. Still no planetarium. I think it's because planetarium just can't spawn on the alt floors. I've never seen one on the alt floors. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Right. I always forget that I can still fire when I'm uh, walking around as this big fella. Yeah, it literally did charge Mega Mush. That's insane. Considering I can pop it beforehand, that's really good. And we got uh, Salvation, which is actually pretty incredible with Mega Mush. Okay, this is some good stuff. This is some good stuff. Should have run over this rock while I was in Mega Mush, but... Yeah, I never really thought about how insanely good Hairpin would be with this setup. So good. I, I, I still need to check if it works for Singularity, but I don't know. Getting a lot of Fool's Gold Rocks. I don't even have that mod that makes them so the Fool's Gold Rocks are more common on this floor. That is a cool mod. It's just a little powerful. Because Fool's Gold Rocks are actually pretty good. And I, I realize that they do cost a bomb, but it's still a, like a really easy way to get money if you come to the mines. Can these tears disappear, please, so I can get round to this guy? There you go. Go to the shop as well here. Oh, I never actually finished this room. There you go. Might even be able to get another charge here if we're lucky. Definitely buy that. And yeah, well, let's go for a shop item. School bag, that's really good. Uh, in fact, first of all, actually, let's just grab this to get some more consumables going. Um, we might as well go and grab Dead Sea Scrolls now. Why, why not? Like, it's not the best second active, but it's decent. Oh, uh, although, I do have to be careful now about what swap to wear, because it also swaps my card and pill slots, which is really annoying. Go through here. Whoa, what the hell happened then? Um, Give knife piece two. Yeah, what the hell happened then? Is that some sort of unique interaction there, or was that a bug? Either way, it looked cool.
One second, guys. Okay, let's uh, let's check in here first. I want to do some testing here, right? Bring this over here. I think there's a glitch that... Dude. Dude. <laughs> Fucking dude just ate the thing. No. I was trying to test something, you fool. God damn it. Right. As you can see, Salvation's really good with this. Also, there was another heart there that Dark Bomb can take. Yeah, what the hell? That's really interesting. Is that a bug or is that just like intended behavior? Either way, it's weird. Come back for all this crap. We did not get much use out of this Mega Mush at all, did we? That was not a good Mega Mush. Attack him. He's the main enemy. Oh, that was a good hit, sir. Okay, there's still another enemy left. There you go. Let's get out of here real quick. Give you this heart. Still no payout. You are being kind of tight-fisted here. Speed up lockdown, that's great. I think we blow up all of these. Try and get hearts. Can you take that heart? Sadly, no. No, you can't. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. It seems to be a bit weird with the electricity, though. I don't know if it's still working correctly. It's either better or worse, and I can't tell which it is. Shoop the whoop. My shoop the whoop came out of there as well. This is strange. <laughs> Nothing can be fired from my body. It's... Creating weird issues. Not in a bad way, though. Interesting. Okay, we got the matchbook straight away. Crack the sky, maybe proc that a little early, but I did actually get two kills with it, so... Did, did I seriously just get two troll bombs from matchbook, then? That's an evil game. Oh, god damn. How did I not get hit, there? The hourglass... Yeah, so that's not really that good. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of good, but it doesn't function at all the way it's supposed to. It does do a crack the sky effect on the enemy, though. Maybe it's just because of, like... Maybe, like, there was some really weird coding interaction with that, and so they had to, like, kind of create a fudged version of it, maybe? Oh, finally we got a planetarium. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I don't understand this room. That, that was that was kind of crazy. Um, oh, I went in here and don't even have a charge. Stupid. Dead fool. Another dead fool. Yeah, it still does a crack the sky sort of effect on them, so it still is good. Um... Full card. It's just I have two charges. Got my Mega Mush back. I'm like a double planetarium proc. Wrong room. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. One planetarium item. Terror. Awesome. Two planetary item. Gemini. Kind of okay. But Terra is pretty awesome. I'm going to be destroying literally every rock that exists. Okay. Things are still surviving, like, a lot. We're not... I think it's just because we've, we're still essentially on... Near to base damage. We've not got many damage up upgrades at all here. Oh, you're there. I didn't see you. How am I gonna hit? How am I gonna hit this guy? I'm confused. Okay, there you go. I got him finally. 
Just looking for my shot. Don't mind me. Yeah, not much way of getting out of that. Okay, this is good. Monstrous Tooth. Not something I've used much, but there you go. This was really good. Got a bunch of luck upgrades. And I think I am going to double proc in the shop. King Baby's kind of interesting. And deck of cards is better than Dead Sea Scrolls. The Lovers. Thank you. I need that black heart. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Right. Let's make our way back over to the boss room. I'll go I'll go through any rooms that I can, to be honest. More consumables is more consumables. I am having a real hard time with these enemies, though. This is such an interesting setup. More money. Sadly, can't really do much with the money. Oh my god, I walked right into that. Maybe wondering, how on earth did you do that? It's because I'm stupid. I think I am going to go for this guy, because it's going to double charge my Mega Mush. I also don't need my money for much else. Might also get a good item out of this. Drink it. Can you stop following me? These dudes so rarely pay out with items. Come on now. You've taken so much of my money. You've taken so much of my money. Come on. Okay, you took all of my money. Just brutal. Right. Pop. 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 Pop the Emperor card. Another luck penny. Let's just pop this here. Gutsy Baby, kind of interesting. Especially with King Baby, actually. I don't even know how's it going to work with King Baby. Don't walk into that again. Okay, what did I leave in here? Did I leave anything of importance in here? Not really. An Empress card, I guess I'll take. Oh, wait, no, no, no. No, I won't. Because I'm swapping to this. Okay. Down we go. Health is still looking real bad. But otherwise, we're looking good. Health is bad, but we looking good. Singularity. Good job it's an item I want because it spawned in front of the door. Come on, enemies that spawn in slow are just horrible for us. Don't do that. Where's our rune's good, but I want this now. Go, 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 go. Charge on the boss fight. We've already missed out, I think. But I don't think we're going to make it to the boss. We've got another charge, though. Don't worry about it. We've, we've got, like, kind of unlimited charges here. Compound Fracture. It's laggy, but it's beautiful. Especially with uh, Compound Fracture and... Uh, not Compound Fracture. With Tech Zero. As I said, it's laggy. It is indeed laggy. Hey, thank you for that. Strength. No, thank you. I just want more HP. Maybe the shop can provide. I never really know how to dodge these enemies. That's just a heart game. That's that's kind of that's kind of savage. A single heart, and that is all. I mean. Just use Terra to get through the doors at this point, if it's a room we don't like. How are you still alive? Come on now. Grab, grab. Um, whoa, Gutsy Baby's doing some wacky stuff. 
I think we just do this because we'll get another charge for it straight away upon entering. Come on. I mean... I think... Oh god, he looks like he has a little pee-pee. I'm just thinking with Mega Mush, maybe we can do this. It's going to run out of charges, but we're going to get more charges pretty quick for it, right? Like, as long as we kill the waves reasonably fast, which apparently enemies that have boss armor are going to be a little more tetchy to do that with, especially this guy. This guy is, holy shit, he is like the tankiest boy I've ever seen. Boss armor boys go hard. That guy has a lot of boss armor. Yeah, the umbilical cord makes it look like we have a little peepee. -pee. Is this another boss armor boss? It most certainly is. We want double no boss armor bosses so we can just do that and walk over them. What, what else is left? Oh, it's you. I didn't even see you. Yeah, we got 2020 there as well, so we're going to be doing a lot of damage. The game is dying. That is the, the fault of Compound Fracture. Compound Fracture is like the laggiest item in base, Isaac. Good, good. Give me a black heart. There you go. Oh, look, you're eternal. Oh, my God. The frame rate. She has died. I'm kind of just firing at enemies like normal as if I don't have to fire from the middle of the screen and it's not really helping me. I'm firing the wrong way on a lot of enemies. My god, I kind of wish I didn't pick up compound fracture now. It is, it is killing the frame rate so hard. What's knocking the enemy about so much? Whatever it is, it's no good. Also, the tonsil item looking buggy as hell, as always. Hey, fellas. How did I get hit there? Come on now. I need to stop shooting. The game doesn't even really calm down once I stop shooting. I walked right into a fire there. That was super good of me. Oh, both of them spawn on top of each other then. Nice. Now we're getting enemies that die pretty instantly. Sadly, ones that also have extremely long death animations. We want to be getting at least half of our charge or more on each wave of enemies. Skolex is gone. Mr. Fred. I can maybe get you just before this ends. Not quite. Although, I think a few bombs will do you good. I got hit by something again. At this point, I really don't know. Reverse Empress. There's so many cards about. Like, how is there this many cards about? Oh, damn it. We really could have done with having a, a thingy ready for this boss fight. This is two pretty annoying bosses in a row. There's burns going everywhere, and I can't even tell which ones are mine. Does this guy fire burns? I can never remember. Let's try and use this and this alone. It seems to be working. Ow. 
now. There you go, that kind of works. Whatever's left, we should be able to get with just this. There you go. There you go. Some bosses just insta die, it's great. Okay, we did it. No, the item was fruitcake. You can't do this to me. Oh, gosh. D100. I don't want that. I'm sorry. There's a lot of cards here. I don't really care for any of them. I've got the card that I want. Get the hell out of here. Grab that. Come on, knife. It's so annoying when the knife is so far back in your familiar queue that you kind of, like, have to play around with it to get it to hit. Look at that. Another Mega Mushroom. This might be the most powerful trinket and spacebar item combination I've ever seen. I've never really thought about it before, but it is an insane combo. HP, I'm actually kind of happy with that, to be honest. Right, let's get going. Let's get gone. Last two floors. Should not be too bad. Should not be too bad. Didn't quite finish this room. I was really hoping we would so we wouldn't have to deal with the lag fest that is this run. I'm not sure if it's the tonsil that's lagging or compound fracture. Or that, all that plus tech zero. I think it's a little bit of the fault of everything, really. Tech zero always leads to some sort of laggy mess. It's brilliant, but it's true. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna remove the tonsil item. I feel like the tonsil item is, is doing some weird stuff. Um, remove tonsil. Tonsil Stone. Yeah, we should have removed that because I feel like it's causing some weird issues. It also is just visually very buggy, so I don't really want it. <laughs> oh, we got double Magus. That's kind of nice. In fact, we might as well pop one of them now then. Oh, we need to make sure our, our thingies are charged. Our card deck is charged. Otherwise, we're going to have some problems later on at the boss. I was like, wait a minute, how do I get through this room? Then I realized, yeah, just use this. Okay, this is slightly annoying room to be large on because I can't run over everything easily. Just because it all runs away from me. I see you over there, little lump. Get gone. These guys are easy. Get a half heart there, which we kind of desperately need. I think, one second. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think this counts as a special room. So we'll still be able to get an item in here. It does. Unfortunately, we didn't get a great one, but there you go. Well, it's a good item, but it's just not good for us right now. Quarter? Why not? Now we can go get another item. That was close. Still a little worried about my HP right now. Oh, hello. Got invincibility there that I wasn't expecting. Did manage to make me hit myself, so that's kind of annoying. Ah, that time it didn't work. Okay, let's just push on with the task at ha uh, task. At hand. Oh, get through the door, you doofus. We're still apparently kind of far away from the boss. Thought it'd be this room, but might be the next one. Yes, it is. Okay, good. I keep forgetting we've got terror, so it's just destroying all the walls, and I'm like, why is everything going to be destroyed? I'm like, oh yeah. Compound Fraction plus Terra is kind of a good combo. 
but destroying literally everything that exists. Okay. Into here we go. Ooh, one problem. We're not actually going to be able to hit the second phase, right? Are we tall enough? I don't know. Are we tall enough? No, we're not. How does this work? No. Damn it. That's, that's, that's a real shame. I mean, we're still doing good damage here, so it's, and we can't take damage. But, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. He's just a little... Dad's ball sack is just a bit too hard to hit. I love Rock Gut as a boss. Design-wise, it's so cool. I guess it's a Black Hat, and Black Hats are pretty useful for us with double damage on, on getting hit, so not a terrible idea. Right, down we go. Unfortunately, though, I did use our entire Mega Mush, so now we need, we need to get... A full charge before getting to the boss, which is already a bit of a problem. Then we need to pop it, and then it'll charge us. It's kind, of, it's kind of an interesting one. So we've got to get we've got to get a full charge for the boss, then pop it just before we head it into the boss fight. Then heading into the boss fight, we'll give us another full charge, and then we use that, and then we get another Magus charge from our card. So we've got three full charges of Mega Mush to do the boss on, which should be enough, right? We've actually got a, uh, a pill, really. Oh, and it's a puberty pill. I left one of those on the last floor because I didn't think I was going to get another one. So we're just taking it. That's a card, too. I mean, justice is actually kind of good for us. Okay. Don't really need to worry about using Singularity too much anymore here. I walked right into that. Beautiful. Okay, this time you can't bug out. So let's bring this over here. I just want to test something. When I walk into this room, it does. Okay, so then I can go boom, boom. Bring them back over here. There's just a little bit of a bug with them. Because you can't pick them up immediately, so it doesn't hurt you immediately when you walk in a room. I can put them here and go, brrr, full charge. <laughs> Do that again, bring them close. Brrr, another full charge. <laughs> so if you get one of those on the early floors, that's essentially infinite items. Obviously, I'm not going to abuse that right now, but it's just kind of worth knowing. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting quirk of those uh, things that can kind of bug out and help you immensely. Right, we're already most of the way charged up here. Here's the boss fight, so we need to go and do a few extra rooms. Not many, though. Only three. That was silly. Please don't take too much more damage. I realize we have three charges of Mega Mush, but that still might not be enough. Just because I'm trying to use my, my Holy Beams whenever I can, which is not advised. I thought it'd help me do it all a bit quicker, but seemingly not really. I'm going to get hit by this, aren't I? Okay. We finish this room. One more room to go. Kind of an annoying one too. Something else over here. Oh, it's just another three of you, I see. Okay, we're good. Right, so now, my order of actions. I need to pop this, then wait, then use it again, then pop it again, and then pop Magus and use it again. So, we've got, we've got to... Oh, this counted as a boss room. I might have buggered that up then. I didn't think this counted as the boss room. I thought... I thought that the whole counted as the boss room. They might both count as the boss room. Let's find out. This will be pretty sad if I got that wrong. Okay, no, I didn't. Good. 
Okay, no, she's she's annihilated. I didn't realize we'd kill her this quickly. I thought she'd have a bit more boss armor than this. We won't even need two charges, I don't think. I think one charge will do it. Oh, maybe. Mm. No, I think I think one charge is gonna do it. I thought we we're gonna need all three. Honestly, I really did. But there you go. Absolutely smashed it with a nice mega mush run. Absolutely love it. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. What a fun run. And I'll see you guys in the next one.